Hello, my name is Sarah Levis from the, the growth unit and the, uh, the, the EDGE team, and we're here for another EDGE conversation. And uh, our EDGE conversation today is with Chris Rotolo. Have I got that right, Chris? Chris Rotolo, yeah. Chris Rotolo, yes. And he's doing our Theory of Change course with us, with us and has been doing for quite some time, but is running a, a very special section of it in the fall. So we asked him to come in here today and talk about it. Chris, thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, we're doing a bit of a first with this offering of the workshop. Um, it's always changed a bit every time we've, ex we've been as would be appropriate for our connection to edge really innovative in trying different things and we're um trying something really different this time around uh there has been consistent in interest in expanding it allowing for more collaborative community conversations to ha to happen as people develop their theory of change so this is going to be like a seven eight week offering that's going to accommodate that for people that's much longer than the 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 offering yeah. that regularly stands, isn't it? We've we've experimented with everything from one to three weeks, and so you know it's exciting to see what people will be able to do with this much space to to reflect and to engage. Well, that's what we're about: is uh, experimenting and innovation, right? Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you where you learned about theory of change? Oh, well, I, uh, I started my career in, in nonprofits. I must have spent about um, 10 years working my way bottom to top in a few different uh, uh, components of the nonprofit industry. Um, in terms of uh, here at Edge, uh, I started running, running a community program for a church, uh, and I was asked by a member of Edge if I'd be interested in delivering the workshop. Uh, and I've been involved in de developing and delivering courses at colleges and universities for about 15 years. Plus, my MBA thesis was on performance measurement and evaluation in the nonprofit sector. So I thought this was a great opportunity to increase my impact from the community level to the national or if you consider some of our uh, interdenominational partners, the, the international level. Uh, and so. It was this exciting opportunity that kind of fit in with everything I've done with my career up until now. So I thought it'd, it'd be a great fit and I uh, felt really fortunate to get the chance to start doing it. Yeah, that's great. So your your interest in this work dovetailed nicely with what Edge was trying to do in our work. I, and I've had everyone in from from like people at the re like leading regions to rural churches in Quebec. We've had everyone in, in here, including yourself and others as repeat attendees. Um, when Carla was with Edge, Carla used to come in and do one workshop a year, develop and uh, the develop an idea for a ministry over two weeks and then go out in the following two weeks and launch the ministry. And I think that's actually how you got started <laughs> with, with this group is one of those ministries that she developed in in the workshop was this idea of like building out the uh, community innovation hubs. She did the uh, she also like built out the um, like rural personal assistance, this concept to kind of democratize access to labor and compensation to more rural communities. Um, and you came in through the community hub, I think, right? Yes, that's where I came in, and that's uh, and that's how I got involved with uh, Carla too. At 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 the start, as one of those uh, one of those rural uh, virtual assistants, and uh, then was brought in, yes, to do the the community innovation hub work. So for many reasons, <laughs> this conversation today would probably wouldn't be happening without the theory of change workshops. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So when you look back at this project and when you kind of look forward to the future, where, where do you see uh, where do you see the spirit moving in this project? Oh, um, I would way rather you ask this question of our participants, but, uh, you know, I can tell you in the last workshop that we did, um, 
I had one participant start crying and not in a bad way. Uh, she had such an incredible breakthrough and everybody else that was part of that call was so tender and supportive. But the most exciting part was we were able to provide her some real insight and, and some feedback on processes and such that is that could have a tenfold impact on our ministry. So I think kind of the, the crying wasn't like a, we didn't cyberbully or anything. It was uh, more like a, a, a catharsis. And it's not the first time that, like, I'd say we usually have two or three um, participants who really have uh, a major insight or breakthrough from doing the workshop. Sometimes it's as, as simple as realize, like kind of changing um, how they articulate or what they, what they perceive their mission to be. And that can be rather transformative because at the start of a journey, a couple of degrees difference leads you to a very different destination. Um, but this was one that I like, I think everybody went away kind of charged from the experience, uh, pretty like uh, motivated. And that same workshop, uh, that very same session, we had somebody uh, at the start who uh, unbidden just kind of wanted to volunteer how helpful the Theory of Change workshop had been for them. Uh, they're probably the only participant that's attended more of these than you or Carla. And uh, every time they engaged in the process, they were saying they developed a much sharper focus on what they wanted to achieve and how they were going to get there. Uh, and the questions that are asked and and reflected on as part of the theory of change process um, were, were uh, he said, very, very aligned with the questions that funders were asking him. And so he, he had shared with us that in the, the previous two years that he'd been attending workshops and revising his mission and outcomes and plan that he received significant grant money from federal, provincial and municipal governments. Uh, and about most important of all, he said, the theory of change really opened a path where uh, and gave him the tools to be able to collaborate with residents and stakeholders to shape a vision for, you know, his ministry that was something that the community desired. Well, yes, and I can I can attest to that, that certainly every time I've gone through the, I think I've done it three times now, every time I've gone through the course, that they, that yes, I've definitely been able to, uh, to understand the material a little bit deeper and to apply it to, uh, to ideas for my my own for my own projects that i'd like to work on and uh, you're uh you're, you're the one that the theory of change that you did on um ableism in the united church was one that stands out to me as a pretty solid example to people on what a theory of change should look like oh thank you that thank you very much that's always uh that's that's great to hear um, we're going to link to uh, to some uh, to a to a website where people can read more testimonials about your uh, about because, the course. Yeah, I, I mean they're they're the ones that can best say it, and they're impressive people. <laughs> like it, we've had some really amazing participants come through and do the workshop. People I'm proud to have been able to facilitate an experience for. Excellent. Yeah, we'll put that link up so that people can go read those. Um, and perhaps we could share a link for registration. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. No, we're not going to forget that. Um, my next question was, uh, you kind of already answered this, but uh, but maybe you can go into it a little bit more about what, uh, what surprised you about teaching this course to people. So um, the depth of knowledge of the people who participate for one, um, like just impressive people that, uh, you know, I'd, I'd happily listen to in any other context. Uh, they're all experts in their own right. And um, we've developed this workshop to be a very collaborative model. Uh, so, so having this varied group of people that all have this depth of expertise in their own area 
has uh, we've been able to accomplish a real network effect uh, that helps participants find some truly impactful insights. Uh, also, like the the varied ideas for impact that people come, the the visions for um, ministry and programs that our participants want to run are just so varied, like so innovative. We've seen things like I think George Bott did did one of these when he was looking to um, do virtual ministry for three uh, three churches so that they could share a minister. And last I heard, he like this ministry that George built is serving two hundred or three hundred uh, ministries. So you know these great, really awesome, like the innovation. That, uh, that Edge has supported and that growth will, like, will be supporting is just one of like a great deal of grassroots innovation that really just needs uh, fertilizer to grow. Um, and so like to, to see all these great innovative ministries come in and then kind of bounce ideas off of each other is, I mean, that alone, creating a forum for that alone, let alone the framework that the workshop gives them has been really fruitful for participants. Um, and I've also just really been surprised by the multiplier effect that the workshop has had on impact for these programs or ministries, right? Because of the varied participation, because of the, um, the breadth and depth to which you can use the theory of change and because of the, the depth of knowledge of the participants that have been coming in, um, people almost always leave with an insight that ends up growing their impact and not an incremental, but a transformative way. Yes, that's a, yeah, that, that certainly sums it up nicely. Um, where do you see this going in the future? Uh, so, so some cool stuff that we've done and we've done a lot across. So this isn't part of the workshop, but this has been kind of an addendum or something that, you know, uh, I've been working on on a voluntary basis with EDGE, but also with other other uh, Christian uh, denominations and, and the goal being to go cross denominational, denomination, like make the tent as big as we can. Um, so we've done a lot of cross denominational work to build kind of a, a non duplicative learning journey so that people across um, these other denominations that we work with have access to everybody's uh, kind of learning and growth opportunities like this workshop. So, you know, envisioned a, a place for people to start when they, you know, um, this workshop, what should follow this workshop. And it, it's, it's envisioned a lot of the stuff that I just traditionally done, like the curiosity cohorts and um, perhaps one possible off ramp into being a community hub. Um, so building out that journey, has been really great and I hope to see that work continued. Um, but a theory of change also gives you the, the needed components. So at like a ministry or program level, what I hope for the future. So rather than just the workshop is, you know, the, the theory of change gives you the needed components to start all sorts of important pieces to your ministry or program. So this includes um, giving you everything that you need for a case for support, for building out your operational plan, and for building out your evaluation plan. I would really like to see us work on that last piece in particular. The whole motivation for why we started this workshop um, was to help ministries improve their impact. And in my mind, evaluation is the logical next step. So I'd love to see us, um, you know, like we we end the workshop with a vision of what to do next that includes here's some tools for building out your evaluation plan, but I'd love to see that facilitated in the future. So maybe a sort of a community of, I'm just, I'm, I'm just spitballing here, maybe a sort of community of practice almost? Well, certainly the people, you would know, the people who start the workshop, if they finish the workshop, it's, you know, they've got a, much deeper toolkit to reach into. So that and the varied experience, I think that's one possible way. Um, I'm open to 
what, whatever that looks like, wherever the spirit takes us, as they say, right? Um, but I'd love to see us continuing that journey. I know that having talked to a lot of people in ministry, a lot of them are ministers or come from a more theological background. And one of one of the gaps that, um, you know, kind of anecdotally I've heard a lot of is, you know, they teach us all of this stuff, but they don't teach us how to manage people. And all of a sudden we're managing an organization or they don't give us the tools for this. The tools that I would love to see us adopt are, uh, and not as, not as, uh, not in a restrictive way, but in a supportive way is, is some of the tools that we see used by the private sector around measurement. There's like ESG and triple bottom line and all of these tools that exist to measure not just where are we financially, but what's our impact on the environment? What's our impact on society? I would love to see us trying to not just qualify, but quantify social impact. So this isn't uh, just a this isn't just a very useful course for everyone to take. It's a very important course for people to I take. I think so. so. It gives you the tools to like um, one of the. Uh, it, it's meant to be collaborative. So it's, so a lot of what we want to do is you know um, hear the voices of all our stakeholders to assure that we're having the impact that is intended, right? But also. You know, with the work that we do in the workshop around um, outcome development and such, knowing what it is that we are trying to achieve to deliver on mission is is actually quite valuable as well. It gives us kind of a, a north star to perform against, to know on a, on a, to, to be able to prioritize, to know on a uh, daily, weekly, monthly basis, are we moving the needle on on the impact that we want to have? I think that's really important. So uh, everybody I've ever done the workshop with has come in with the motivation, right, and the vision, and that's not needed. But to be able to to help them develop the tools they need to to know that they're delivering on that vision is just, you know, it's been an honor for me. That's wonderful. Um, Theory of Change course starts in October and runs until December this year and registration will be opening soon. And uh, we'll be sure to put the, the registration link in as soon as we have it. Chris, is there anything else you'd like to say today? About yeah, I can't wait to see you in the workshop, <laughs> Sarah <laughs> specifically, and you, everybody else that's, that's watching this. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for talking with us today, and uh, um, we'll, uh, yes, we'll see you soon. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks so much.